Welcome back to Chem Reactor. In today's video, we are going to discuss is H2 coupling in water feasible. Last week, I uploaded a video on H2 coupling and the challenges associated with the byproducts generated from this H2 coupling. To this video, uh, Rajnis asked a question in the comment section, can we use water as a solvent while using H2 as a coupling agent for these uh, reaction conditions? To answer or the, to respond his uh, question in the comment section, I tried to post a picture of a mechanism of this reaction, but I couldn't, so I decided to make a video on this topic. Here, uh, the short answer to his question is no. To answer his question, we'll go a step by step. First, we'll see the reaction mechanism of a H2 coupling without the water. Here, a base deprotonates this uh, carboxylic acid and the resulting carboxylate anion adds to this or attack to this uh, electron deficient uh, carbon on this H2 molecule that generates this uh, hydroxy azabenzotriazole anion and the activated ester. In the next step, then this uh, hydroxy azabenzotriazole anion adds or react with this uh, activated ester and then forms this another uh, activated ester molecule. In the next step, this uh, amine reacts with this activated ester to form its amide uh, final product. So here in this reaction mechanism, there is no water involved. Now we will see why we cannot choose pure water as a solvent for this H2 coupling reactions. There are three main reasons. The first one is a poor solubility. H2 and most of the organic compounds or the starting materials have a really a poor solubility in the water. So that can affect the reaction kinetics of this uh, coupling reaction. The second reason is H2 deactivation. Water can hydrolyze this uh, guanidine functional group that is uh, required to form this uh, active ester intermediate in this uh, H2 coupling reaction. Then the third reason why we cannot use uh, pure water as a solvent for this H2 coupling reaction is it can act as a competing nucleophile to your carboxylate anion and the amine in a reaction mixture. Here, if you look at this uh, reaction mechanism of this H2 coupling in uh, water, water can act as a, a competing nucleophile to your carboxylate anion to react with this uh, electron deficient carbon of H2 uh, molecule. And then next step here, uh, water can also uh, hydrolyze this activated ester and it can take back to your uh, starting material uh, carboxylic acid. There is uh, another uh, ester, activated ester intermediate formed in this H2 coupling reaction. So this can also hydrolyze uh, in water and that can take back to you, uh, your uh, starting material uh, carboxylic acids. So in conclusion, we cannot use uh, pure water as a solvent for this uh, reaction because of uh, first a poor solubility of H2 uh, and the starting materials in, uh, in, in water. Then the second one is a uh, deactivation of H2 uh, in the presence of water. And the third one, water can act as a competing nucleophile to your carboxylate anion and the amine. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.